Yo, what's happening, beer fam? DD Bear at Nine here, back with some more Dragon Ball Legends news, hint, tips, and information. And yes, I haven't brought out anything in a long time. That's because Legends hasn't brought us anything that people may have need help with, with for at least ooh, about a year or so. So we have the new art seeds or art cores, and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to get the seed exchange, which of course you can exchange for your art core art seeds. Now. The first thing I'm going to show you, of course, is a screenshot right now, which is pretty much telling you when you log into your game, you can, of course, get this. Now, this is a weekend screenshot, and you can see it's on the bottom left-hand corner. But when, of course, you do your day-to-day, -day, so your Monday to Friday, or your, sorry, Tuesday to Friday, it should be in the middle column on the right-hand side. So we're going to swipe that away and, of course, uh, go check into this. Now, if you do not understand what these uh, arts are or the seeds are, you need to go, of course, to your character upgrade. Now you check that out there, and at the top of the screen, you'll see Soul Boost or Arts Boost. So you click onto that, and as you can see, Shallot is there. Now I've got these in card number order for some reason. I decided to put it like that because that's a new sort of way of sorting them. So first person I'm going to click on is there, and you can already see Shallot has already been issued with one. Now if you've played the game since the update, you'll be able to see that they gave us the opportunity to boost him by at least one of the card arts somewhere. Me, I decided to of course put on to his strike attack when I should have really put on to either blast or of course the um, blue one here which I can't remember exactly what it's called but that gives of course a boost to your blast defense and your strike defense which is really quality there. Now these are new things that they're incorporating into the game just to make your characters even more powerful. Now also you can of course upgrade your shadow to sparking which is really cool as well but these are what these um, arts are for really so I'm going to show you how to get the seed medals and then of course show you how to exchange them very simple now the first one of course was through logging in to get your seed medals next one is going to your missions and checking out your daily so give it a few seconds now you can see the daily is of course use 10 energies and if you can see this new little medal here here this one right here it says a medal which can be exchanged for art seeds and art cores at the exchange shop very simple with that you'll collect three so just do your dailies and you'll pop in with one of those very simple now it may change over the up and coming weeks but this is how we get it at the very beginning next thing you're going to go to your exchange now you have to do certain things to of course get these exchange models to exchange them but we'll go through that easily first thing you're going to do is go all the way to the bottom of recommendation and you're going to see clear hyper dimensional co-op and exchange for awesome rewards easiest way to get them is of course play your hyper dimensional co-op battles get those rewards and you'll be able to exchange them for your art course now these aren't the seeds yet you've got the art course now these will ex um, update themselves every few weeks or so to so keep an eye out for them but you can do them a hundred times on each grade there so you've got 50 medals 60 medals and 70 medals you're only going to get three plus one cores and then of course you've got your seed exchange here which of course you can get up to 200 of those again there there's nothing else on this part here. You can't get them with the, uh, well, you can use the dual coins, but it's going to be on the main page realistically. So don't worry about that one there. Very simple. Do your hyperdimensional card battles and you'll get them. The next one is, of course, you want to do your ultra space time rush missions because if you go to other, you have more art core um, medals, which of course you can exchange them. I haven't done it at the moment. I've been playing a little bit, but... I should really see jump into it and this of course gives you more of them but they are extortionate extortionate prices a thousand just for one set or just one so it's not really worth it but there's no seeds in this one guys so make sure you do your um ultra space time rush missions because they can get you some more art core um art cores next one you're gonna go is to permanent i better press the wrong button yep you're gonna go to permanent and then you're going to go, of course, to your weekend. So make sure you are logging in over the weekend, guys, because you have another set of three. Now, these are only of your basic medals, so not your blue ones, which you can exchange, which are meant to be the rarer medals. But you can exchange those as well. It only takes one, and you can do 12 of them. These do upgrade, update themselves every few weeks as well, so just keep an eye on that. It should be updating within the next four days. So if you've got the medals, use them before you lose them. Well, you won't lose the medals, but you're going to lose the opportunity to get more of these so you have a few there then of course go all the way down there is none in the recycle center which realistically i believe there should be we should be able to exchange certain things in there 
so it's not really uh, a joy here you've got your rare medals so go into rare medals and you have some in there so with your rare medals of course you can collect your seed exchange medals which are lovely and beautiful there now if you go above that you have your legends medals which of course you can get a few from there now to collect your legends medals of course you have to of course do your legends missions which should be in the main menu tab in the top right hand corner give or take surprisingly we don't have them in our z2 or the z medals so don't worry about that sparky medals are making a slight little comeback and then of course we don't have any elsewhere now to exchange your seed medals big no-brainer you have the seed exchange medals i've only got 15 at the moment and these are your seed arts which you will need certain seed arts to of course power up certain units so make sure you do collect the right ones try to get collect several of them and of course you can get your arts cores so you need your art seeds and your art cores to of course get you in to buffing up any unit so make sure you are doing all of these missions now these are the only ways that i can see how to do them at the moment guys so make sure you are jumping on your hyperdimensional cart battles your of course um raids as well which i completely forgot which one it was now yep your ultra tight space time rush raid now during the anniversary guys now if you're watching this in the future future ask me for an update and i'll try and pop it in in the comments of course but during the anniversary there's probably going to be plenty plenty of ways to get these medals guys so make sure you are popping in with that one if you know any other ways to get these medals and exchange them let me know in the comments below guys but like always don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more in the future and until next time peace